station with nunchucks. In this training station, we are going to learn some basic moves for nunchucks and then we will gradually build up. All right, so nunchucks is a soft weapon. In Kung Fu Wu Su, soft weapons are more challenging. If you are a beginner or you haven't done nunchucks training before, I suggest you to use the plastic nunchucks. So you can, I think you can order easily online. All right. And then once you get used to it, you can choose to use iron nunchucks made by iron. It's quite, a, it's quite a shiny and it's lighter compared to the traditional nunchucks I'm using right now. It's made by timber. Okay. You can choose. Once you get used to with the plastic nunchucks, you can choose to use iron one or the timber one. Timber one is quite uh, heavy, quite powerful as well. See? All right. Let's start with our training. First of all, let's learn how to hold with our nunchucks properly. You hold your nunchucks like this. Okay. From this end, I come a bit closer. From this end about two or three fingers distance about not exactly okay about we use this move for example during training right if you hold a bit less or a bit more that's okay because the very important thing is you feel cool it and you feel comfortable that's very important all right, you hold a bit less or a bit more, that's okay. Because also next move, you can always adjust back. You see that, I adjust back. That's how you're gonna hold with your nunchucks. About two or three fingers distance, okay? Can be less or can be more during training. All right, next, let's do some coordination with our wrist, okay? And build up some strength. And you can feel your nunchucks. All right, do this first. I come in back. You can put your hand, drop your hand down. See, make sure your nunchucks is doing circle vertically, okay, vertically, to check your nunchucks. You do your nunchucks like this, vertically, and you feel your nunchucks. See, come a bit closer. This move, I'm not using much with my wrist. And next, if I want to combine with the width, and next, if I want to combine with my wrist together, have a look, corn it with my wrist. You do like this. And forward it as well, okay? To feel nunchucks first, feel first. All right, now let's give a try. I do on this step. All right, see? Make sure your nunchucks goes vertically. And then you coordinate with your wrist. Flow together with your wrist. Feel nunchucks, you feel first, okay? And you relax before you move on to the next, okay? No need to be hurry or rush, okay? Because I don't want any of you to get hurt. Now, this is a picking from the bottom up. How about chop? Like this, chop, forwardly. Without using too much with your wrist, and then you cone it with your wrist. See? Those two moves are very important. How important, I want to show you. Once you get used to it, but you don't try this one yet, okay? Later on you can try this. You can do, say, picking, I can go like this, and forwardly, I can chop. Ba, ba. So this is very important. So that's why you have to build up some 
coordination and strength for, for with this move. And you feel nunchucks. And you feel. Be with nunchucks as one. Now let's give a try with the other set. You can always do slower, okay guys? If I do too fast, you can always do slower. See ladies? And coordinate with your wrist. Wrist, coordinate. Just relax. Okay. And forwardly. Coordinate with your wrist. So you can do both sets, right? Both sets. Then you can do double nunchucks. Alright? So next move, we we'll do Wan Hua. Wan Hua is like this. Wan Hua. Forwardly. Backwardly. See? Backwardly. If you have done both stuff, right? Both stuff or sword training, this move will become so much easier. Alright? Because in sword training, the fundamental moves are the same as nunchucks, all right? So we use this move to develop some strength and coordination for our wrist. Now, I face it this way. We do Wan Hua forwardly, like a chop. Now, put your left hand on your back, okay? Make sure the nunchucks go through next to your shoulder, next to your shoulder. Okay, the other side is it, next to your shoulder. From inwardly first, inwardly, this side first. And this, this side is outwardly, outwardly. And this is inwardly, okay? So from here, make sure you bend your arm a bit, your hands with your shoulder level, okay? You turn your waist a bit, a bit, see, a bit. Don't turn too much, just turn a bit, see? Turn a bit. See, the wrist, I coordinate with my wrist. Relax. All right? Face this way, we do 10 times. I do slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Like this, all right? Do slowly first. Once you get used to it, you think you can coordinate with the nunchucks, be with nunchucks as one, you can speed up. At the first, I suggest you to do it slowly, slowly, all right? Face this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like this, okay? The other way, picking, from all the words first, picking, Liao Hua, Liao Hua, okay? Like a picking. From here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slow down, like that. One more time with the picking. Yi, er, san, si, wu, liu, qi, ba, jiu, shi, and relax. All right, so now, you can give a try with your left arm. Left arm, I face this way. Chopping first, chopping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Picking. Yi, er, san, si, wu, liu, qi, ba, jiu, shi. Slow down. All right? Do like this first. Okay? And next, let's learn how to grip with our nunchucks properly. Okay? Before I show you how to grip with your nunchucks, I, I want you guys to see this move. With this move, have a look. Ha, hey, ha, hey, ha, hey, ha, hey. <laughs> Please do not try this one yet, okay? I'm, I'm going to show you with this move later on. You looks like, oh, that's painful. Actually, it's not painful at all. With this move, I want to show you with the nunchucks break point. The nunchucks break point is here. This is nine chops, three point. All right. When you grab with the nine chops, you don't grab the top here. Okay. Otherwise, that's the three point release, the energy release point. 
energy release point, okay? If you grab her head, you're gonna get her. See? I wanna show you. So that's why, oh, this is not good, okay? That's painful. Now, have a look at this move. The energy point, I come a bit closer, is here, right? I do slowly, can you see? Do you see? The nunchucks will bounce back because the energy point is here. So I'm not going to hit on my arm. So this way, energy will bounce back. Have a look again. See that? See, bounce back. I'm not getting hurt. I can use this energy bounce back to stretch. See, I can straight forward, bounce back. Okay, that's, we're gonna learn a little on. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna learn grab, we grab here. See, grab here, don't grab here. Like I mentioned before, about two or three fingers distance from this end. Grab like this, you'll be all right. If you grab the top here, oh, that's not good, okay? Make sure you grab here, all right? So that's very important, guys, grab like this. You grab a bit less or a bit more, that's okay. As long as you don't grab here. Don't grab here, all right? Now, we're gonna learn how to grab with the nine chuck. So the are the same, all right? Uh, if at the first you cannot grab your nine chucks like this, happen to me at the first, have a look. You missed it, that's okay, okay, you missed it. The product makes better and perfect, yes, all right? Let's see. Start holding your nunchuck like this. I face to this angle. Open with your legs. See, tricky. Hold your nunchucks. Open with your legs like this. See, you can always adjust to feel. You can give a grab. Feel your nunchucks. And next, right arm goes like a circle. Rest that, see. Inwardly like this. Face to this way. You do right hand set to do a circle like this. Hold your nunchucks. All right. See. Remember, guys. Trainer, want to, I want to emphasize on this as well. When you grab, right? Like I mentioned before, three points is here. Same as when you catch with your nunchucks. See, I don't catch. See, like this. I don't use my shoulder to catch nunchucks with a three point. If I do like this, that's painful, okay? That's painful, painful. So no one does like that. Pop, see? Three point is here. Now, when you grab, if, if you cannot grab, it's because sometimes your arm's too straight. Too straight, the three point will release on your shoulder. That's painful. Make sure you bend your elbows like this angle. So this way, then the three points can go like this. See? Like this. All right? Let's see slowly. Bend your elbow. See my elbow? Bend it like this. Now straight. Give it straight. You're gonna hit on your shoulder. And also you cannot grip with your nunchuck. Okay? See my elbow like this. Grip. Like this, this angle, not too straight. All right, like this. Okay, let's try from the beginning. Like I mentioned before, we'll take it easy with our first training session, okay? Open, check, okay? Feel, grab your nine chucks, right hand, use a circle, and then you swap. We do slowly. See? Feel. Do slowly first, okay? At the front, you can look at your nunchucks. Look. All right. And then once you get used to it, you can just feel. Like this. I face to all different angles. You can have a look. I do slowly, all right, guys? I 
and this move is very basic and very important. Remember, always do the moves we done before first for the owners, okay? And then you can try with this move. No need to be hurry or rush. No need to be hurry or rush to the next line. Once you call it, you have a strong, you have a solid, strong foundation. You can move on, okay? And the next move will become much easier if you master this move, okay? Master this move, all right? And you finish, pa, finish, see, right, right hand, circle back, and finish. Okay, now let's try again. We do 10 times. One, don't do fast, okay guys? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, finish. Okay, you can do more if you like. Okay, do more. Okay, remember, guys, don't speed up yet. Do like this first. Once you get used to it, the next move, see this move, this move, it's like a picking. Picking. This is very powerful. See, picking, I show you. Pop, 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 pop. See, very powerful. But now, don't speed up yet. Do like this. And another one I want to show you guys, I was going to show you in the next training session, but you know, now you're learning this move, I want to show you. The break point, for example, you have no waste the break point. Break point is here. For example, break point is here. Once with this move, I, if I lead on, I do faster, okay? Get used to this move, I lead on, I want to do faster, I want to release with my break point here. After break, after pass the break point, I will slow down. See, after pass the break point, I slow down. I don't go all the way too fast like this. Okay, okay. Will be easier. I'll show you with another move like this. See this move. Okay. Now break point is here. Break point is here. I'm going to release my. Three points there. See, after pass the three points, have a look. Slow down. See, you hear? See, I'm not getting hurt. If you pass, you, you don't know where's the three points, right? For example, you're going to go like this. You don't know where's the three points, you're going to go, bah, you hit yourself. Pass the break point and slow down and not get hurt. You hear that? Okay? So lead down, you learn to strike, it's the same. Pass the break point, you slow down. Have a look. I don't know if you, you can see it properly or not. So this is the lead, I do the chop. Once past the break point here, I slow down. Otherwise, I go, yeah, hit it myself. Okay? So, have a look. Pa, listen to the sound. Just chop, see? Like a, like a, like a knife. Nine child is very powerful, guys. So, Later on, we can try to do, learn how to release your break point. But at the moment, try to do like this first, slowly. Okay, slowly, and then you can speed up a bit. Okay? So that's today's training session with the nunchucks. Uh, we we'll take it very easy with nunchucks at the first. All right, I don't want anyone to get hurt. I hope you enjoyed this training session. Remember, if you have any questions, Please leave your comment down below. Happy training, happy life. We'll see you next time.